Okay, so before we start, I want to show you something very quickly. Um, probably I'm going to put the um, a screenshot here of what I'm going to be referring to, but seems like I won <laughs> one of those raffles that uh, they, they do on Twitter, that they usually say that if you follow us and you put your ID on the comments and... Uh, and in your server and, and anything else uh, basically they will give you five essences and seems like I won that <laughs> it's the first time that this has happened to me after five years of, pl of playing this game like I'm actually going to show you that I'm, I'm not lying <laughs> I, I have been playing this game since 2018 and uh, this is the first time that I just got that which is very cool, not gonna lie. So that means that these kind of raffles are actually <laughs> real. So I I will recommend you to try at least putting your ID on server. Uh, I don't even remember what I commented, but seems like they give you the they give the rewards of those raffles at the end of the crossover. Because at the day that uh, I am actually recording this, today is a Wednesday, and today it's going to be uh, maintenance. So that means that the triple uh, holic crossover is actually uh, leaving now. So uh, yeah, I'm actually going to open this here with you. So let's see what we get. Probably nothing, but let's see what we can get. I, I actually I, I need the fragments because I want to buy the first officer skin. So let's see. First one, it's absolutely nothing. I I I already have everything blue colored. The only thing that I have left is the Little girl and geisha skin. So already, I am going to open them one by one. Nothing either. Nothing either. <laughs> um, it was worth to try, to be honest. But as you can say, those are are not rigged. But it it it's just something that I just wanted to show you, so you can see that those raffles are actually real because on myself I didn't know that those were real but anyways uh, let's go with the matches okay so first first match of the day <laughs> um, second day which I'm very happy that I'm doing this constantly so I'm actually recording this at the um, 12 p.m. hour of Drunkets because since today is uh, Wednesday, there's going to be a maintenance. I'm not sure if there's going to be a hotfix, but uh, I'm just doing this uh, earlier if it's possible. So I don't know what I want, what I want to play today. So let's see. It's actually hell, hell cold right now. Oh, and also um, shout out to Shy uh, Daily since she commented the last video. And it's actually true, you don't have to play this game a lot because it's going to burn you out very easily, actually. So, yeah, uh, it's going to be Entomologist, Lawyer... Hmm. People said that I actually teased them by choosing what sort is instead of Hermit, so might as well just play Hermit in this match. I don't really want to use this skin, I'm actually going to, going to go with the Peregrine one. Little girl, okay. <clears throat> it's actually a good team composition. Until the barmaid, though. <laughs> eh, let's go for it. I don't really want. I, I don't really li like to play uh, Hermit with healers, such as barmaid or doctor. <sighs> but, eh, it's fine. <clears throat> if we get her first pick, it's more than okay with, by me. Now here, of course, it's going to be on the on the factory, but it's not really my concern. I'm actually going to go for the barmaid uh, in order for me to just get rid of her as soon as possible. So yeah, let's do this. Okay, so first match of the day, I have what I call a universal build that basically basically consists on detention, fast bullet breaking, and um, drum card. Okay. Okay, so we're going for the barmy that it's already on the on the shack. She actually left because she knew that I was going after her. Yep, there she is. 
I'm surprised that she didn't touch that. I thought that she was going to hit her, but unfortunately not. That's fine. Is she actually healing herself now? She's healing the chip damage. She wasn't able to... Um, yeah, she did. Okay. I have blink, so it's not really my concern. Oh, she actually saw me dashing. Okay, full present just because she got she jumped that. Which is completely fine. <clears throat> I don't really like this place for the chair because it's really full of not of pallets and stuff. So we're just going to leave that. That's I forgot decoded because of a lawyer. We have a journalist here. Okay, journalist is going to be down. We'll take the double down. Hmm. Type of uh, trying to stun any time that she can, so might as well just bait, bait it, and that's it. We don't have to respect the pallet. We're going to chair the uh, journalist, since we have a chair nearby. Two chairs nearby, which is good. We're actually going to trap her here. Now you're teleporting to the. Little, no, I'm sorry, to the little girl. <laughs> Bruh. Okay, it's completely fine at this point. Yeah, you just kill her. <laughs> that fucking little girl just kill. The barmaid. It's impressive. I see them. Especially the uh, lawyer. Let's remember that he actually sees me. Unfortunately. Who says that I won the, the journalist, huh? Okay, we're good. I was going to say we have basement, but unfortunately, unfortunately we don't. Actually, my batteries are kind of low, so I'm going to be charging this uh, on the next match. She's going to teleport. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, they're going to heal each other. And I already know where, because I saw the cipher moving and they actually decoded at the last moment. There they are. What's that gonna do? <laughs> okay, GG's. Let's go. That was a fun match. It's been a while since I played Hermit, to be honest, but yeah. It was fun. So let's go into the next match. Okay, so next match of the day, the second one. Actually, to be honest, uh, I think the Hermit one was really fast. Not really sure why, I felt it very, very fast. 
Sacred Heart of Hospital, uh, not my favorite map at all, but we're going to see what we can do here. Uh, it's going to be the same man, so you're on this because I... Eh, it's a classic at this point. Ooh, an S tier. I truly do not like that. Mm, I steer Loki guy. That's impressive. What we can actually bring here? Prospector and Enchantress. Should we? <sighs> <laughs> yeah, we can try. I forgot the build. Shit. Well, it's completely fine though. I didn't check what I had. I usually change a lot with the Reaper. Uh, if my predictions are correct, I think the prisoner is going to be in the middle of the hospital. Doesn't he? Yeah, he will. Okay, I think here the correct thing to have uh, bring was going to be peepers because of the hospital thing is uh, completely annoying, but it's fine, it's completely fine. It's not like uh, we're going to get rushed or anything. So he, he will pretty much do the thing of hiding first. Actually, the cipher it's on the on the cage, so it's not on the top. Yeah, he already connected it here. So we're going to be closing that connection. We have basement on the hospital. We do not have people here though. We do have two people nearby us, but we don't see anyone. Which I think it's the prospector and the prisoner, and I think this is the prisoner. Yeah. <laughs> Just to say that. That could have been a terror shock though, but no. That cipher is already 60%. Wow. Okay. That cipher is already primed because the prospector, wasn't it? So, yeah. Because for the people who doesn't know, prospector it's a secret decoder. Because having um, having tiny um, wait a second having tiny uh, how is it called calibration does not mean that it's go you're going to the code slower. That actually means that you're going to the code faster, and it's pretty pretty stupid. But eh. At this point, everyone decodes faster because the game said so. Nostalgic, but I don't think that's really going to be in our favor. <laughs> At least, not much. <laughs> Who's decoding her his cipher? Oh, the prospector, really? They're messing up a lot of things, actually. 
he's actually going to go to the basement if possible. There's already been someone healing the uh, enchanters outside. And I think the lucky guy is going to come for me and stun me with a gun. He already went in. That's Cypher already primed. Should not be, should not be, should not be. <laughs> okay. There's people already that come in the Cypher on the top. We need to stop that as soon as possible. Lucky guy does not have borrow with time for some reason. <sighs> of course, he will have flywheel. Mm, we cannot do anything here because they are just really annoying. Fortunately, he already spent exit pad, so if he gets rescued. We might try something. That prison already has the door open. Because why wouldn't he? Oh no, it's not. Are they actually going to surround this? They are. Prisoner is actually nearby. What the fuck? There was a bot. Look, you got you absolute piece of shit. Wow. Anyways. Of course, I was going to get rushed because there was this mechanic wannabe. That it's really annoying. Yeah, he's already at the gate. Uh, how stupid. Anyways, into the next match. And I really wasn't lying when I told you that you shouldn't play this game often. Because even with only three matches, it really pisses you off. <laughs> but it's completely fine. Ever Sleeping Town, one of my favorite <sighs> maps of all time. So, uh, yeah, let's keep the going in the same ones. There's not really much of an issue with other survivors because it doesn't matter who you ban. It's the same stupid people as before. That's great. Mm. Let's go fool's gold, actually. I think if this lucky guy that wants to be a mechanic, might as well just go fool's gold and counter that. Because for the people who doesn't know that, uh, Fool's Goal is actually very good uh, against mechanics, since he, uh, since mechanics usually don't really pay attention to their bots because they are so invested in decoding. Um, basically, they do not pay attention when you put a rock on them, so you can just take chip damage out away away from them. And yeah, basically you take them out in about uh, if we take the six seconds in about twelve seconds if they don't pay attention to it. And we're going to have the, the lucky guy in front of us uh, because he's on the cemetery. So yeah, let's try that. Let's actually go from here. I don't want to jump the the window. I think he's going to go into the other direction, sadly. Or maybe he's just behind this place. Yeah, he is. There he is. Actually. <laughs> Has a speed boost as usual. Does everything he does really? There is a stupid bot, let's go. Yeah. 
you owe me this one. Because I hate you. Anyways, we do not have basement here, unfortunately, but we have a close space here. Which is lovely. I'm going to be placing that there because that's in the middle. So let me reach that. There you go. There's people already coming for the rescue. I don't know who though. There's the pop cider. That's because of me. Oh, the lawyer. Mercenary here. Nice. Let's go for that lawyer. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> okay. I really I really don't like the uh <laughs> Are you going to fly well? No you won't. Okay. That is good. I think the mercenary tried to even go for his rescue, but he couldn't. Because as you can see, the postman gave him a speed boost um, card. But unfortunately, he wasn't able to. Okay, double down. Everyone here has... <laughs> okay. Unnecessary. Mm. He wants to take hits for him. He won't. I'm. Uh, that's really annoying that even though it's on the floor. It does not take it as uh, as if it was landing on a wall. I really don't like that from Pulse Gold. He's not really well designed on that aspect. Like, as you can see that... Why the fuck does not he take that? Not com I mean, I am complaining because Wolf's Gold has some. He's a kinda well designed hunter. But on some aspects, you, you will just say that he's just. kinda flawed on some aspects. Which is completely fine, I guess. We often forget that in Joker Studio, it's not a big company or anything at all. Wow, the frame drop. I gotta love that everyone here has a speed boost and this guy already has the 5% permanent percent of having his speed boost too. That mercenary is going to go the taper in the middle, which is going to be popped in any second now. Hmm, almost. Oh wow, thank you, game. You just gotta love that. He still have elbow, but I, uh, I have only seen him using it once. There you go. But he's stupid, he doesn't know how to use them. <laughs> thank you, game. Absolute charm of him. I don't know where the postman is, I haven't seen him in a while. He 
he's near for some reason. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he wants to go for the dungeon. This poor thing. Yeah, that won't happen. <laughs> he wants me to stay close to the tram so it can, like, yeah, do that. 